money you want next Oprah. No, not yet, but I'm working on it. Okay, well, that organized has got to be there somewhere. All right, have you checked every floor? Yeah, I'd love to have a facial. You know, uh, one to three is is probably good for me, but four to six is just too late. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. All right, so check this out. Um, Are you going to be able to check the rest of the floors? <laughs> Would I ever miss a facial? <sighs> all, right, all right, so when are you coming back here? Sooner is really better than later for me. Yeah, yeah, for me too. <laughs> hey, so check this out. I'm kind of hungry. You think you can bring me back something to eat? Yeah, uh, I'll see if I can squeeze that in. All right, cool. All right. Bye. Bye. Hi, um, I'm here to see Dr. Pacelli. Did you try his office? Miss? Did you try his office? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I did, but, um, he's not there, so could you page him for me, please? Sure. Excuse me, I am the person who paid for all that, so don't punch the bloody lights out. Lucy! You're back. <laughs> yeah, I am. God, you're welcome, Sly. Oh. oh! Golly, Hi. uh, you're, um, welcome, Sly, too. Hi. Hi. Lucy! You're back. When did you get in? Uh, uh, actually, today, just today. And did Scott come with you? Yeah, he did. So no luck with Christina? No, not for lack of trying. Uh, we tried. Boy, did we really try. I'm so sorry. Listen, don't give up, you know? No, of course not. I will never give up. I'll keep looking and looking forever. You'll make it happen. Because you're the kind of person who makes things happen. Thanks. Um... You know, I just get this feeling that you started a new relationship while I was gone. What? A re you know, with the computer. Unless, of course, there's somebody uh, living and breathing you haven't told me about. Uh, no, there's no time for that. Mm. No, there's no time, because he's quite not great with his mouse yet. Um, uh, yeah, I, I noticed. However, you know, you really, really should get out more then. Eve! Maybe you could see to that, because he should see the light of day every once in a while, you know? Uh, ex excuse me, Eve's been quite busy herself. Goody! Actually, so have I. I have this whole list I made on the plane about stuff I want to do here, things I want to buy, like an ultrasound machine that's portable, a new one, up to date. Any ideas on how to pay for all those things you thought about? Of course. Good. Can we put a file clerk at the top of that list, oh, please? Oh, amen to that. A file clerk. How about Charlie? You know, the girl from the park, the runaway that's staying at the hotel with me. Actually, that's part of the reason I'm here. I couldn't find her at the hotel, and I thought I'd check with Doc, you know, to see if, how she was doing, if she found a job, and... Uh-oh, what? What are you doing here? I came to tell you I know what a liar you are. Charlie, are you all right? Charlie? Charlie McMillan, this is my patient. This is your patient? And I've come here to tell the truth. No. Charlie, you don't have to do that. I told you. I can't let her hurt you with her lies the way she's hurt me. You? My name isn't Charlie McMillan. It's really Livy. Olivia Locke. And she's my mother. I don't understand any of this. I don't understand my whole life because you don't know how to tell the truth. Uh, maybe we should take a recess? I agree. No. I want to help Dr. Collins. Charlie, Livy, you, you don't have to do this now. Everyone needs to know how much you've done for me. Dr. Collins hasn't done anything wrong. He was protecting me. I didn't want to be here, but he didn't know the real reason was because of her. Maybe you should start at the beginning. My name is Olivia Locke. 
When I first asked Dr. Collins for help, I was having some personal problems. I told him my name was Charlie McMillan because I knew they worked together at GH and I didn't want my mother to know I was in town. That's why we had our sessions at the hotel, so I wouldn't have to run into her. Dr. Collins has been a wonderful doctor. When I first came to him, I was a mess. I was having these nightmares and they were getting worse. But Dr. Collins was great. He let me talk about anything for hours and he didn't even charge me for it. He did it because he cared. You don't find a lot of doctors like that anymore. And never once did he ever, ever do anything improper. And it makes me sick to think that any one of you could accuse him of that. All that said, serious charges have been filed. And they'll have to be investigated for your own protection as well as other patients. It's Dr. Collins who needs to be protected from her. What have you done to her? He hasn't done anything except be there for me when I needed someone, which is more than what you did. Obviously, that we, we have some things that we need to work out. And I think it's best that if we do that in private. I'm not going anywhere with you. I, I really believe someone should put a leash on that woman, or maybe a, a choke chain and just strangle her, or better yet, a, a, a straight jacket. How can they believe her? How can they take her seriously? Apparently, the Erie County Medical Society believes her. <sighs> Enough to warrant a hearing anyway. A hearing? Where is it? I'm going. N Lucy, you can't go. Yes, I can. I, I, I want to give Doc support. He needs and support. And he has support. He told me he would call me as soon as it was over. That was just Doc being nice to you, because he knows how busy you are here. I know Doc. He needs... Yeah, and that's good for you. I think I know him pretty well myself. Maybe you should just go. I think maybe I better. OK, except I still can't believe this is happening. Why not? This is Rachel we're talking about. She's been out for Kevin's blood since day one. I guess maybe I shouldn't have had Doc help Charlie out. Huh? You said it. That's me. I. You're thinking it, though, aren't you? Just I am just saying that I don't think we should give Rachel any extra ammo. Do you think you need to tell me that? I still blame her for Julie taking Christina. I think she was a big part of that, you know? Actually, I uh, don't think she realizes quite what it's like to lose a child. I don't think that that would matter to Rachel. Lucy, and for once, this isn't just about you. I know that, This is Eve, about Rachel obviously. getting her revenge on Kevin. OK. OK, I tell you what. Why not us work together and stop her from doing that? We can do that, right? We don't want her to do that. Come on. I don't intend to let Rachel get away with anything. I just have some paperwork to finish up with, and then I'll be ready to go. OK, good. Uh, so um, tell me about the person in your life. Who? The woman. And you know, there's got to be one, a woman in your uh, life. Lucy, Lucy, I told you there isn't anyone. Uh-huh, and you want me to believe that not one of these beauties around here snagged you while I was gone, huh? All the good ones you take. You could tell me, however, what has been keeping you so busy at this here clinic. This is uh, more of a jungle than I've ever encountered. What does that mean? What is going on? Some strange things have been happening when you were gone. That organizer's got to be around here somewhere. If and when we find it, let's hope the stuff that'll clear Jamal didn't get erased. Yeah, well, Cedric had it rigged so you can get past that stupid game. God, when I think of all the times that I played that stupid thing, I thought that it was mine and that it was broken. I should have figured it out sooner that it was Cedric's. You had a few other things going on. Yeah, well, Jamal would be out of trouble already if that stupid thing hadn't gotten lost. Keep looking. That's all we can do. Yeah, and hope that whoever finds it turns it in. Yeah, fingers crossed. OK, so I'm going to check 7 and 8. All right, and I'll cover the ninth and 10th floors. OK, meet me back here. OK. OK. All right, you go ahead. All right. Now I know something's up. What are you talking about? You skipping a chance to take a shot at me. Must be something big. I, I didn't even see you. Then what are you hanging around the hospital for? Then? Well, if you really must know, I came to see Dr. Pacelli about the new meds he's giving me. Up. But you know what? I could ask you the same question. Obviously, you're not on duty. <laughs> then again, I really don't care why you're here or anything else about you, for that matter. You know, you were such a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is this, anyway? Yellowtail handle. Mm. What's that? Raw tuna. 
Oh, come on. That's oh, disgusting. come on, Jamal. You can't tell me you've never had sushi before. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> no. No, I haven't. Where I'm from, there's not too many sushi restaurants. Wow. You know, I can't believe I'm eating something so rank. Ugh. Well, next time, I'll bring you some sashimi. I'll cook it myself. More raw stuff? Mm-hmm. So, um, when did you learn how to cook? Or should I say not cook? Our weekend chef was Japanese. You had a weekend chef? Well, duh. You can't get help to work seven days a week. Oh, oh excuse me. OK. <laughs> so the weekend chef taught you how to cook. Or well, was he one of those? Well, was he one of those guys that does the martial arts with the knives and everything and, you know? <laughs> no, no. She was this very nice Japanese lady that my parents brought back from Japan. You mean like a souvenir? Yeah. Oh, no, they My didn't. parents, they bring me back someone to take care of me. You know, most kids, they get little things of little Eiffel Tower souvenirs, but no, not me. <laughs> One time they brought me back this uh, French au pair. She was so cool. I loved her. I wanted her to adopt me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so what happened to her? Did you drive her out of the country, too? No. You know, she got married and had kids of her own. She was so cool. We still talk, though. Yeah? Or email, anyways. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. She, she taught me how to make the best chocolate souffle. See? Oh. Yeah, I can get, get with some of that stuff. But all this other stuff you rich people be cooking, no, nah, no, nah, none of this can compare to my mom's cornbread. I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Cornbread yeah. sticks to my throat. No, no, you haven't tasted my mom's cornbread. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Well, you've never had yellowtail, have you? Yeah, well, me and most of the universe either. <laughs> so your mom used to cook for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, when the, when the weekend help didn't show up. Mm-hmm, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> no, nah, but my mom, she, every Sunday, she used to cook this big, big ham dinner. I mean, with the cornbread and everything, the whole family used to show up. My aunts, my uncles, cousins. I mean, the whole family. I mean, even my pops would show up for that every once in a while when he wasn't, like, in the slammer, but, you know. God, that must be so nice, a big family Sunday dinner. Yeah, yeah, but somebody would always get mad at somebody else and, you know, they'd turn to this big blowout fight and just... Uh, yeah, but mad. still, they come back for the next Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because of my mama's cornbread, that's why. <laughs> must be really good. Yeah. Probably not your thing, though. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Planning on doing a little fishing? Sullivan, Jenna. Right. OK, next. OK, RT. Am I really going too fast? Shh. G, four, six, five, four. Good. OK, you got five, it. Five, four. Right, four. Green, Robert. Right. What? 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 Ah, it's another antigen screen. That's right. I see it right there. It's listed right there on the screen. It's one more than I ordered. Well, then why would it be listed there on the screen? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> hey. What? What's going on that I should know about? Uh, nothing. You should just, you should go and help Kevin. Thanks. I'll see you later. OK, um, I'm coming. Uh, here. Are, are you going to be able to manage? You know, yeah, yeah. You'll be OK. I'll manage. Thank okay. you. Go on. OK, I'm, I'm going. Ta. Boardman. Need to talk to you about the lab. Well, why don't you just talk to the lab? Because they're screw-ups and they don't know what they're doing. Well, I'm sure that attitude scored big points with Yeah. You. I have patients missing test results, and some with tests I never ordered. It just happened yesterday. I had to readmit here. Look, I'm late for an appointment. Why are you bothering me with these petty problems? Because the hospital's going to have to pay for those tests. That's the bottom line. And if I remember correctly, that is where you live and die, is it not? Obviously, the residents have done something wrong. I'm so sick of teaching people around here about fiscal responsibility. I'm probably tired of listening to it. Well, I wash my hands of it. You got a problem? Take it up with administrative. Psych, please. You have a, a patient up there, Robert Green. Would like to run another CBC. Only this time I'd like to use uh, an outside lab. Right. 
You can consider this matter closed, Doctor. I'll be issuing a formal statement to that effect. Thank you. I'll handle your charges, Rachel, and the reasons behind them later. Leave her alone. Why don't you just stay out of this? She already told you she doesn't want to go with you. Why, because of some, some mind trip you threw on her, Kevin. Mom, stop it! Dr. Collins, I'm sorry I got you into this. I shouldn't have lied to you. But I guess it runs in the family. Look, I, I don't know what you think is happening or going on, but I'm your mother, and I love you, and I deserve an explanation. I'll be outside. Livy, what are all these lies you keep talking about? Do you think that I'm stupid? That I'd never find out? Find out what? <laughs> I can't believe it. You're still lying. You haven't exactly been honest with me, have you? <laughs> have you been in Port Charles hiding all this time from me? Because you don't know how to tell the truth. The truth about what? My father! Your father? I know everything. Kevin! Hey! hey. Mm. Mm. Well, what Are a big surprise! Hi. I didn't know you were back. Yeah, I, I, I just, just got back. Oh, I guess I would have heard if... Sorry. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. But listen, um, this hearing, how is that going? Yeah, what are you doing out here? Uh, hearing's over. I've been cleared of all of Rachel's <gasps> charges. Oh! oh yes! That, that's, oh, that's so that's wonderful. Great. Oh, great. congratulations. Thank well, you. what are we doing out here? Let's uh, go celebrate. Uh, yeah, we have time for that. Do you remember uh, Livy? Oh, please, the mysterious message on Rachel's answering machine. Yes. Livy, what does this have to do with anything at all? Charlotte McMillan, a.k.a. Charlie actually isn't named Charlie at all. She's Livy. Her name is Olivia Locke. Ring a bell? She's Rachel's daughter. Livy, whatever you think you know about your father, you're wrong. He told me himself. He told you? I found him. I went to see him. Okay, wait, wait. Let, let, let's just back up a second here. Who did you go to see? Joshua Locke. He's not dead, Mom, and he's not my father. And that's what he told you? That and some other stuff. Like what? <laughs> well, how you lied to him, too. You didn't tell him about me until after you got him to marry you. Look, I just, I, I want to know one thing, and try to tell me the truth this time, if it's even possible. Who is my father? Colleen, I thought you were working six. I couldn't stay away from my wild Irishman. <laughs> not me, not today. They're wearing me down. I couldn't tell by looking. I'm gonna go home for a while. Anything happens to Mr. Green, give me a call, would you? Yeah, we'll do. You taking home a little recreational reading? More intrigued than Sherlock Holmes. Does it beat J.K. Rowling? Could use a little of her magic right now. We should do. Me, I vote we make fish bait out of her. Or we could just tie an anchor around her. You know, you guys do what you want. All right, but if she can find me, that means the cops can find me. All right, I'm out of here, bro. You are so on my list. Oh, I am so scared. You're the one who's scary, Courtney. Here, take this and hide him in your car, all right? Go, go, now. Bruce! Oh, 
Jamal Woods, you're under arrest. No. The murder of Cedric Walker. Stay tuned for scenes from the next board Charles. Thanks. Should have given yourself up when you had the chance. No, I am the one who convinced him not to. So if you're gonna arrest him, then you might as well arrest me too. Hope this isn't a bad time. Oh, Chris. Please get me out of here. Cast your votes in the Cyber Soap Awards only at ABC.com. Once you fall in love with Bo. Nora, Nora, Nora. You want it to last forever. Just ask Nora. She thinks that we're still married. How should I handle that? Is it too late for us? Nora, you and I have been through a lot. Please tell me we're okay, Bo. Nora doesn't know about us, does she? Teddy.